Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create stunning parallax effects in After Effects. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. All right, the first step is to prepare your vector file. If you're using Illustrator, make sure to separate all your elements or objects into individual layers. In this example, I've separated the mountains, trees, the man, sky, rocks. Basically, every element has its own layer for better control inside After Effects. Now, let's jump into After Effects. First, import your Illustrator file. Make sure to select Composition. Retain layer sizes while importing. Then, double-click the composition in the project panel to open it in your timeline. Next, we need to convert all layers into 3D layers. If you don't see the 3D layer option, click the Toggle Switches Modes button at the bottom of the timeline to reveal it. Enable 3D layers for all elements. Once that's done, right-click in the timeline, go to New, and select Camera to create a new camera for our parallax effect setup. Next, a Camera Settings dialog box will pop up. For this example, we'll go with a 50mm camera. Make sure to check Enable Depth of Field and Lock to Zoom. Also, set the camera type to Two-Node Camera. Once you've got that set, click OK. You'll notice a new camera layer added to your timeline. Now, go to the View menu and select Two View. This will split your viewport into two panels. I'll set the left side to Top View since it helps visualize the camera and the Z position of the objects from above, making it easier to arrange them in 3D space. Next, select all the layers except the camera and press S on your keyboard to bring up the scale property. Then hold Shift plus P to also reveal the position property for all the selected layers. Now, select the camera layer and press P on your keyboard to open the position property. To create a smooth zoom-in parallax effect, we'll move the camera back along the z-axis, pulling it away from the scene. Next, we'll set up the scene by placing our elements at different z-positions. This variation creates the depth needed for the parallax effect. You can monitor the z-positioning in the secondary viewport. Remember to place distant objects further back in the z-space and closer elements toward the front for a realistic depth effect. You might notice some elements appearing zoomed out or black edges showing in the background. To fix this, simply scale the layers to fit the composition properly. All right, now for the fun part, camera movement. To create the parallax effect, we'll animate the camera. Add a keyframe for the camera's position on the first frame. Move to around the four second mark and add another keyframe. At the last keyframe, adjust the Z position to create a smooth zoom in effect. Slightly shift the camera to the left for a subtle orbit effect. And that's it. Your parallax effect is ready. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting tutorials. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.